أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Dear viewers, this video is very interesting because in this video they explore early teachings of Jesus, peace be upon him. They read from very early Bible which confirms what Islam said about Jesus like Jesus is not God nor son of God and he did not die and so on. Let's watch this video. After that, I will give my reaction to this video, inshallah. The letters of Jesus' brothers were so dangerous that for hundreds of years, the church fathers refused to include them in the Bible. They were only finally accepted because the oral traditions concerning Jesus' family were so strong. There were some Christian leaders who said, well, James, I don't know if we should include him. Now, he's the brother of Jesus. So why wouldn't you want his letter? Because if you read the letter, it doesn't have the gospel that people came to associate with Christianity. In complete contrast to today's Christianity, the letters of Jesus' brothers describe him as their master, but not divine. They see Jesus as a human character blessed by God. Think about the book of James. It's the teachings of Jesus, but not the teachings about Jesus. James passes on what he got from his brother. You could say it has no theology. And yet it does have a theology, but it's the theology of Jesus. But it's no theology about Jesus in that book. Doesn't mention the cross of Christ. Doesn't mention the blood of Jesus. Doesn't mention forgiving sins through believing in the Lord, our Savior, who's in heaven. Nothing like that. It's an amazing book to read. This alternative version of Jesus' message can be found in other texts too. In the Greek quarter of the old city of Jerusalem, there is another ancient book that was not included in the Bible. It's one of the most contested of early Christian documents, possibly even older than the Gospels themselves. I believe it is the key to understanding Jesus' original message. I'm very sorry that the library is not in its proper situation. The Library of the Greek Patriarch has the only complete copy of an ancient handbook specially written for converts to Christianity that was compiled when Jesus' family was still alive. The Didache gives a direct insight into what the very earliest Christians thought and did. It has never before been filmed. Can I hold it? Yes. Wow. This is like being close to the early church. Of course. Wow. And, and um, I'm not using gloves, is that okay? It's okay. I'm okay. not using this one. Yes. Wow. The book begins here. There are two ways, one of the life and one of the death. The Didache, or teaching, contains a code of Christian ethics based on the original teachings of Jesus and some instructions as to the proper forms of worship. There is a great difference between the two ways. But what makes it so dangerous for today's Christianity is what it leaves out. No mention of the resurrection, and above all, no mention of Jesus as God. The Didache also contains a detailed description of a very early communion service. Unlike today, there is no suggestion that the bread and wine are the body and blood of Christ. In fact, Jesus is referred to not as God's son, but his servant. And concerning the broken bread, we thank you, our Father, for the life and knowledge which you made known to us through Jesus, your servant. To you belongs the glory forever. As you guys heard, this book also said that Jesus was a servant of God, which is another thing that Quran said about Jesus. Allah says in the Quran, He, Jesus, said, Indeed, I am a servant of Allah. He has given me the book and made me a prophet. Quran 1930. This video also discussed how the current Bible has been changed, and this video is the proof that the current Bible is not the teachings of Jesus, peace be upon him. Amazingly, Quran also said that people change the Bible. It says in the Quran, then woe to those who write the book with their own hands and then say this is from God to traffic with it for miserable price. Woe to them for what their hands do write and for the gain they make thereby. Quran 279. 
Most probably these changes in the Bible were done by Paul or it was done in the Council of Nicaea where they made the Trinity official part of Christianity. If these early teachings were removed from the Bible in the Council of Nicaea or by Paul, then it was removed to promote the Trinity because this early Bible is against the Trinity. This video I think is one of the clear proofs for Islam because Islam teaches that Jesus was not God and was a prophet of God who did not die for the sins for the mankind. This video also proves that the current Christianity is false. So viewers, Islam is the only truth because its teachings are preserved and its theology makes the most sense. Islam teaches God is one with no partners. He has no son nor any family members. He has always been here and will always be and there is nothing like him. Moreover, he is the only one worthy of our worship. He sent messengers like Noah, Ibrahim, Moses, Jesus and Muhammad, peace be upon them all, to guide people to the oneness of Allah and to follow the teachings of God so we can be saved in this life and hereafter. Finally, non-Muslims who are watching this video, are you guys ready to accept Islam? 